Morgate uh, understands its clients. It gets to the bottom of what its clients uh, are all about. Um, and in our area, in the, in the financial services area, there's a lot of complexity. Uh, clients are complex animals um, selling various products and services. And their messages are actually very complex messages. And their audiences are highly sophisticated audiences. So you can't treat um, the financial services the way you would treat um, other uh, products or services offerings. You, you have to get to the bottom of them, you have to get to understand them well, and you have to communicate their expertise. And so the key difference between Morgate and, uh, and some of our rivals is that we communicate the client's expertise. I think a key for Morgate is content. We provide Content, content, content. And uh, once we've got the key messages and we've worked out the audiences, then the next stage for, for Morgate is to create lots and lots and lots of content. Um, and a lot of PR firms are simply intermediaries. They'll have the journalist one side of the desk and the client on the other. And they're trying to persuade the journalist to provide the content. So they lose control of the message. Um, what we do is provide content. We retain control of the message by, by writing, writing commentaries, writing case studies, writing big, long feature articles, writing news. So we don't just write a press release and hope a journalist will, uh, will cover it. We write the content and we get it out there. And uh, so content and placement are the key for us. And uh, we, we don't see ourselves um, as an intermediary. We're not a gatekeeper. We're not in the middle. We're, we're somebody that, great, we can set up those relationships. But really what we do is we provide strong content based on our clients' key messages, which they're trying to aim at their sophisticated audiences. Uh, I think that there's, there's two real keys to strong PR. One is, um, is process. It's actually getting the process right. What we do with, uh, with new clients is we, we produce what we call positioning papers, which are, uh, which are quite large documents. And they look at the, uh, the client's key objectives, their key communications objectives. It goes through their audiences, their, their audiences that may be internal as well as external. And it goes through many, many different layers of, uh, of who their audiences are. It then lines up their messages. What are their messages? What are their messages to their key audiences? And only once you have that sort of picture and you really understand what the client's trying to achieve, you can then move down into looking at a strategy uh, for the clients, looking at their strengths and their weaknesses and, uh, and some of their opportunities. And uh, from there, you can then uh, execute uh, some very strong tactics. And also what's worth knowing is if the tactics are not coming off, then it may well be that uh, it's the strategy that needs to be looked at, but the objectives remain the same. So you have a very, you have a great strength within that document that says, these are the objectives, these are the audiences, these are the messages, this is the strategy, these are the tactics, this is how we're going to execute them. And that creates an enormous, enormously strong process that gives the client and us uh, trust and faith that, that it's going to work. And then it gives you the second thing also that's absolutely required for, for strong PR, and that's endeavor. It's absolutely doing the work. It's, it's every day knowing what has to be done and coming in and doing it and just bashing away until you get those results. So it's, it's the process and it's strong endeavor. Those are the two key things for strong PR. Well, we've been through um, the most extraordinary few years, and um, I think that, uh, that there's two elements to this. One is the financial uh, aspect, and two is, is simply the, uh, the fact that this is a recessionary environment. In the financial aspect, I think the, uh, the finance industry has been very poor at getting its, its message across. Partly that's because of the complexity of the message. It's that some very, uh, some, some extraordinary things have happened, but those things have been very complicated, and people try and simplify the message, perhaps oversimplify the message, and the, the finance industry has come out of it very poorly. What it needs to do is it needs to realize that the messages are complex, work out how best to deliver those messages, work out who the audiences are that need to get those messages, and then go about setting some tactics in order to do that. But uh, I think that financially, the financial industry has been a very poor advocate for itself over the last three years. It's almost sort of surrendered its messages. Uh, and there are some very strong messages there and some very strong defense but they're complicated. Therefore, we need to focus on, the, on what the message is. We need to focus on who the message is aimed at. And we need to focus on 
getting that message to them. The second element to that is the fact that this is a recessionary environment and therefore um, uh, PR needs to offer strong value. I think there's a PR at its purest can offer incredibly strong value if you compare it to advertising uh, in, in, by any kind of measurement PR normally does incredibly well it's uh, it, it, it gets complicated messages across in a, in a format that advertising never could and uh, so it's actually incredibly strong value that said some PR is quite poor value and in and in boom times poor value PR uh, manages to get away with it. In, in a recessionary period such as now, um, very strong value is required for strong PR and, and I think that's very much something that Moorgate is very focused on, is offering very strong value and being very focused on offering that value um, via, via the, the PR methodology. Well, it's complementary to advertising. I, it, can, it can go where advertising can't go. It can get messages across, for perhaps very complicated messages uh, that, uh, that, uh, that advertising simply can't, can't get across. It can also pick off audiences and pick off messages and audiences in a way advertising simply can't. But it's complementary to advertising. Advertising is very important for brand building, but it's not, it's not strong at getting complex messages across the sophisticated audiences. And, uh, and that's where PR comes into its own. That said, also it can leverage advertising. If you have a strong advertising budget, that's great. But just leaving the advertising budget to do its own thing is, 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 is actually quite a weak use of that advertising budget. What you need is the advertising budget spent, but you need the PR guys to come in and make to, to get the leverage off of that advertising and make sure your messages are getting into the editorial side as much as they're getting onto the advertising side.